Australian First modelling is being used to minimise flood damage next time Brisbane goes under. The program works out when best to release water from Wyvernhoe to keep the river levels low. Up above Brisbane, in a secret city location, the high-tech hub that manages our dams in a flood. Today, the emergency isn't real, but simulated. So this is a reenactment of the 1974 flood event, if Wyvernhoe Dam existed. It's an Australian first computer model that's taken 18 months to build. As it rains, creeks, rivers and levels rise, and as the downstream levels fall, Wyvernhoe's gates are open and the effects measured. The Wyvernhoe Dam is releasing um, in the order of about 5,000, 5, but that's come after Lockyer has peaked already at 6,000. So it's not actually adding to the peak, it's coming after the peak. It's all about working out how best to manage Wyvernhoe, Somerset and North Pine Dams. To save lives and protect property in South East Corner of Queensland when the next flood does arrive. The computer program clearly demonstrates the benefits of Wyvernhoe. In 1974, this whole area was more than a metre underwater, but if the dam had existed, it would have been dry. The 1893 flood is a whole different story. That's why more than 5,000 different scenarios are being studied. It's important that we develop rules that are suitable for many different types of floods because the next flood will be different to what we've seen in the past. The more protection, the better for those still hurting from the January 2011 floods. Still nothing but electrical wires, no lights, no plugs, no nothing like that. Still use an extension lead to do my washing. A daily reminder of a time many would rather forget. Michael Best, Nine News. Well, now to a truly extraordinary...